If you have dreams of YouTube or TikTok stardom, well, don't we all? Having solid gear can help you make content creation easier. Joby recently sent me its Gorillapod mobile vlogging kit to try out and review, so in this video I'll show you what you're getting, I'll break down each of the components and talk to you about how to use it, and I'll tell you if it does the job. I'll wrap things up by going over the pros and the cons and letting you know if I think I can recommend this kit for you, or what you might want to get instead. Now, if you only have a smartphone and you want to take that first step into serious vlogging or content creation, welcome. Make sure to leave a comment on this video with your channel link and I'd love to check you out. The Joby Gorillapod mobile vlogging kit should be a simple and quick way to hike your video production values. It's designed to be used all together and everything assembles just like a transformer so you've got a true all-in-one solution. This Joby vlogging kit bundles the Joby Gorillapod mobile tripod with an adjustable smartphone mount. There's also the Joby BMO mini LED light and the Joby Wavo mobile on-camera microphone. There's also a handful of accessories and other components including additional arms to hold more gear, microphone connectors, and a diffuser for the light plus a windsock for the mic. Let's get a closer look at Joby's popular Gorillapod 1K tripod stand, which has flexible legs to customize how you can use it and what you can attach it to. It uses a combination of heavyweight plastic and stainless steel so it can handle cameras or phones weighing up to one kilogram or less than that. The tripod itself is also really lightweight too, and you can compress the legs like I've done here and hold it like a monopod if you're vlogging, or even wrap the legs around almost anything to get your shot just where you want it. Also bundled with the rig is the Grip Tight Pro 2 mount, which isn't Joby's latest model, but the phone clamp mount feels durable and you can rotate it 90 degrees, allowing for both portrait and landscape orientations. You can screw in a cold shoe mount on top in case you want to add the bundled microphone up there, and it has a dedicated socket on each side for adding those included Gorillapod arms. The Gorillapod arms have the same flexibility as the tripod's legs. I'll tell you about my experience with the Gorillapods and the mounts. I've actually owned one of Joby's Gorillapod devices for almost a decade. My original smaller format Gorillapod finally gave up the ghost a few years ago and I upgraded to a more heavy duty version. I'm a huge fan of these Gorillapod tripods since they give you a stable surface plus a ton of flexibility for shooting truly anywhere. The flexible legs can wrap around, hook onto or brace against almost anything, so it's a really versatile little tripod for solo vlogging, b-roll, and more. While this particular Gorillapod is a bit too lightweight for my personal preferences, it is great for a beginner. The smartphone mount is also okay. It gives you decent options for range of motion, but the flat panel mount with the screw can be a little fiddly. I also find the way the mount is connected to the tripod doesn't give me as much range of motion as something with a ball head does by comparison. Up next is the Joby BMO Mini LED light right here. It weighs roughly 100 grams and has a small built-in rechargeable battery protected by a rugged waterproof housing, and it has a covered USB-C port for recharging. The back of this light is magnetic and you can add small accessories to it as well with the double cold shoe mounts. Now, if you aren't comfortable fiddling with the small pair of control buttons on the top, you can connect your phone to the light using Bluetooth and change the brightness settings and modes through through the My Joby app. You can pick from five brightness options with the brightest setting showing off the lights 1000 lumen full strength. That diffuser can also be clipped on to avoid any harsh light. So what has my experience been with the BMO light? I'll show you here with a little demonstration. It's kind of bright. Um, the BMO light is kind of an imperfect solution. It's got a narrow diameter of light, which can make your subject look kind of like a deer in the headlights, which is how I feel right now. Um, the light can also be kind of two directional and a little on the harsh side. Depending on how you're using it, it also might not get bright enough to compete with a lot of other light sources. Here in my studio, everything else is really bright and you might see the same thing in daylight. Now, while this light will be handy in a pinch or for shoots on the go. It's not a total substitute for proper three-point lighting. I found myself using this light more to fill in dark spots when I was getting b-roll and less as a sun gun or a primary subject light. 
Let's get on to the Wavo mobile mic, which is designed to pick up what's directly in front of it. This mini shotgun microphone also comes with accessories, including a windscreen and a shock mount to help keep vibrations or knocking sounds from bleeding in. Weighing just about 70 grams, the Joby Wavo mobile mic is a lightweight addition to this kit. My experience with the Joby Wavo mic here is that for me, it was ineffective for what I tried to use it for. Now, I fiddled around with this microphone ahead of a kind of important video shoot. I connected the Apple connector and tested it out here with my iPhone, and it seemed like it was working well. Now, unfortunately, I did opt to use it as my primary microphone, and when I got back to listen to the footage, it was far too poor quality to actually use in my finished video. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of a demonstration here. So this is the Joby microphone when it's used kind of right in front of the camera or right attached to the camera. And you can see I've got it connected here to my Apple iPhone with the cable and the special adapter. Now I'm just gonna pull it back a little further and you can hear that the sound starts to change. And once I've got it sort of more than about, I don't know, two feet or so away from me, you can see that the sound really starts to change. So in my opinion, this mic is best used right up close for kind of like vlogging or really close up on camera situations. If you're gonna need to get sound from further away, you're gonna be better off finding another solution. Now it may sound like I'm not loving this kit and maybe the truth is I've outgrown it, but the kit is a really great starter option. The bottom line here is if you're an absolute newbie and just looking to get your hands on some basic gear to get you started, the Joby Gorillapod mobile vlogging kit is a decent bundle for beginners until you figure out your own personal preferences. The overall setup might look a little silly since the flexible arms and legs do kind of look like you're carrying around some fancy doll, but all the components are lightweight and they get the streaming job done. If you do want to jump straight to the next level though, I've got some suggestions. I would actually suggest you build your own kit and opt for a few other options that I have found far more useful and infinitely more valuable. I love the Gorillapod 3K Tripod Pro with its metal ball head over the 1K tripod. It's just more durable, rugged, and the additional weight gives it better stability. I also prefer Joby's Grip Tight Mount for MagSafe, which has a really cool magnetic attachment for an eye phone or you can swivel the clips around to cinch your phone in more securely. It's also got threads so you can attach those arms if you do want to add extra gear. I also prefer the Joby Wavo Air wireless microphone kit which I use with a DSLR camera. The Joby Gorillapod mobile vlogging kit here sells for about 220 US or 329 Canadian. Don't forget to check out my full reviews of the BMO and Joby's Wavo Air microphone kit right now.